Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Zach with Curious IT. Today we're gonna to be adding users to Active Directory. So let's jump over. So if you watched our previous video, you saw that we've uh, set up our Active Directory structure. Now we're gonna go ahead and add a user under our IT organizational unit. So we're gonna right click and do new user. And this is gonna be me, so I'll fill it out. Zach Hill. We can have our logon name as Z Hill. Now, please keep in mind as you're going into different environments that logon names can be completely different. It really depends on how that organization wants to set up their usernames. So you could have your first initial last name, you could have a first name period last name, or you could even have uh, your first initial period last name. It really depends. There's many different ways that you can do that, but as long as you keep your structure the same, it should be fine. So we're just gonna do Z Hill. I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna set up a password. This word. Uh, we wanna make sure that user must change password and next logon is checked and everything else can be unchecked. We're gonna do next and we're gonna finish. Under our users, we now have Zach Hill. Now, one thing that we could do is we can go on our properties here. So if we right click on our name and do properties like you saw, we can modify other settings within here. So if we want a description, we could say that uh, our description is uh, VIP, Office, um, IT. We could set in our phone number, we can set in our email, web page, any other information that we want to set up here, we can add this within our Active Directory. Now, we can create scripts that add all of this information for us based on an Excel sheet, which we're gonna talk about in our next video. This is just manually adding some information for our users. And this can be really handy when we have very large environments. If we wanna take a look at a user, we can see what office they're at, we can see what description we put there, and in our description we can put anything. We can put VIP of IT, we can put, we can put account created, um, what is it, 7, 6, 2020, and we can initial it, saying that this description for this account was created on July 6, 2020, and Zach Hill is the one who made this account. This is just another way to add more information so we know what is happening with our environment. Of course, we can add address information. Again, here's our account information here. Profile, if we had specific um, logon scripts or uh, different profiles that we wanna set up, we could add that here. We can have a local path for a different um, maybe share drive that we wanna set up. So every time Zach Hill logs in, we can set a specific path to a specific folder that gets mapped every time I log in. Um, so here's more information on telephones, organization, job title, we can put VIP. That's my job title, department, IT, company, ITCQ. Right? We can add all this information here. Now here's many other um, tabs that we can go through to add different information. Um, none of this is going to really be of use to us at this moment. So we can kind of skip over a lot of this stuff. But one thing that I wanna talk about here is member of. And these would be where you add different security groups and things like this um, that we have set up. So as we get into that, um, this will definitely make more sense, but with this, with our, our member of, as we cr start creating security groups, now for Zach Hill, we could add Zach Hill to um, administrators. So Zach Hill, that account is an administrator account. So every time Zach Hill logs into a computer in our environment, we know that the Zach Hill user account is an administrator. So they have administrator privileges to do you know whatever they want within that environment now is this proper not typically we might want to create an admin account for Zach Hill because as Zach Hill logs in he doesn't always need administrator privileges so we could do a new account new user call this one Zach Hill and remember when we talked about our different login names we could do zhill.admin now we also need to put in there a different name so that Active Directory doesn't get too confused. So let's go ahead and add this user. Now under IT, we have Zach Hill and Zach Hill dash admin. So we could go under our properties here. And of course we can do our description. We can do uh, created seven, six, 2020, ZH did that. 
you could put whatever you want in the description. You could even put that this is VIP admin account. You could put in there that this is your CISO. You could put in there that this is your CEO. It, you could have the description, whatever you want to match your environment so that when you are going through your different users, you can see um, what it is that they either do in the organization or just get information about how that account was created or who created it. There's so many different things that you could do with this to really have a solid structure. So anyway, going back to this, we can go back to member of, and we can add this as an administrator. So now our Z Hill account is an administrator, or Z Hill admin account is part of our administrators security group. So every time zhill.admin logs into a computer, they have administrator privileges. So this is how I would structure my users within Active Directory. And of course, every environment is different from one another. So you definitely have to keep that in mind. So now we can do the same thing with all of our other OUs. We could start adding users under management, under marketing, under sales, etc. And you guys get the idea. It's fairly easy to do and set up different users within Active Directory. Of course, now as we start getting into more group policy, uh, more security groups, we can really start to control our environment even further. Now in our next video, we're gonna be talking about adding multiple users to Active Directory at one time using PowerShell. So that's it for this video. Stay tuned for the next.